quick update this morning. Uh, day two was, you know, probably the better part of 42 k's. A lot of walking, a lot of runnable track in there, but because we didn't know exactly how far we'd gone, we just decided to take it easy and uh, make sure we got to the end in one piece, but before dark, which all went pretty well. Just got the donkeys coming through here. Uh, now today we dig in for what sounds like a relatively easy stretch. It's only about 18 k's, but as far as we can tell, it's straight up the side of a mountain, ending up at a place called um, Saranga Gumba. Sarangumpa, which is a monastery where we'll be, all be bunking down for the night. So uh, it's about five to nine, so about five minutes before takeoff. And uh, yeah, 18 k's, but I think a lot of up and down as well, not just all straight ascent. So we'll see how today goes. But certainly uh, having a look around here with the mountains in the background, it's pretty beautiful. So that's it for today. You can see the, the highest peak there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then sort of halfway down, you've got a, a bare a cliff face that yeah. ends in a diamond. Yeah. And I think we have to cross over the top of that. There's You're a small pass. Me. Yeah, but it's okay, uh, probably. Mm. Yeah, you have to cross over that and then come down. But it's nice. Once you get there, you get a great view. What else do you want? I quite like the view from here. Yeah. The view from here is also nice. You've got to get as many different perspectives as possible, right? 32 Ks there tomorrow. Yeah, we might make a small change of plan. It's okay. It's fine. Because uh, there's a lot of downhill in the beginning, so you get you get to halfway uh, pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, then you've got halfway. You've, you've, <laughs> you're halfway, so halfway's... Halfway. Halfway. Once you're halfway, then the other half's uphill. uphill. Just a matter of getting to the finish now and a cup of tea. Having established where halfway was, it was time to go. Thanks. To mix things up a bit and make life interesting, they let us slow coaches start first so we could watch the speedies like Lizzie Hawker and Holly Rush come flying past. It's more than a bit humbling to see just how fast some of those guys move. I had no doubt they'd make it to the end of the stage a long time before me. That was to be expected. But little did I know just how long. After cheering them along, I pushed on with my group of slow and steadies. And true to his word, Rich's description that the first half was pleasant enough was spot on as we made our way along the river and through some villages. It was here I got another reality check about just how lucky I was, carrying my relatively tiny pack and doing this for fun rather than every day for work. As we pulled into the checkpoint, we even got a bit of moral support from the local kids. Although with varying degrees of enthusiasm. Then it was time to get going again, knowing that according to Rich's description, things were about to get interesting. And we crossed over this bridge, or as I now refer to it, the gate to hell. <laughs> 